breaking news out of the Philadelphia Flyers. Dave Haxtall fired. He's canned. It is legit this time. The Flyers actually put up a statement. We have the coach of the Phantoms step in, and he is now going to be taking place until Chuck Fletcher makes his move. I just don't like how it all played out with the Flyers media, I mean, what, 24 hours? Within the 24 hours, it was Dave Haxtell is gone, and then Quenville's the guy, and then it was reported that it didn't happen, and then today in practice, no Dave Haxtell, but the team's out there practicing, and it, it, it was just weird and handled terribly, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, the big news is Dave Haxtell is fired. We knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when. And in reality, the big thing is, who is going to step in in the long term? Is it going to be Quenville? That's a, a name we've been hearing for quite some time. We're going to have to wait and find out. But you look at the numbers statistically, what this Scott Gordon guy brought us with Lehigh Valley and our, our AHL team, his numbers over the last two years have been up there. He's just going to step in now and, and take control until we figure it out. This was a must needed situation the team has lost its identity they didn't play for the coach of Dave Haxtell he's been here for over four years it just wasn't working out it was clear as day time has come for Dave Haxtell but there's more news Carter Hart gets the call up for the Philadelphia Flyers now I think it's too soon we are a dumpster fire when it comes to defense we are just all over the place We're chickens with our heads cut off we don't know how to play the game Things you learn when you're a mite, we are not doing defensively. We're running around, throwing pucks up the middle. We're not defending the house. I'm scared and concerned for Carter Hart. I know it's because of injuries. Stolarz now hurt. Brian Elliott hurt. Our goalies are just getting hurt and hurt and hurt. It's our only option at this point to bring up someone like Carter Hart. I just hope he doesn't lose so much confidence. I hope he comes out there and performs. I feel like he is going to get the nod against the Red Wings because you don't bring in a star like this without starting him. You're not going to bring him in to back up Neuwirth, so I hope not. But who knows, with the way this front office has been handling all of these situations, who knows? If you're going to call him up, my guess is he's going to get the nod. That is going to be something we find out on Wednesday. We're moving in the right direction. I don't think we've handled this the right way. Um, you know, Holmgren has been a problem for me since day one. I don't trust the guy. I think the way this is all played out with the media has been atrocious. We are a laughing stock, but what is important, Chuck Fletcher decided to pull the trigger on Dave Haxtell. The big thing we are all waiting for now is who is going to replace him for the long term. I'm okay with what we got going now with Lehigh Valley, their coach, Scott Gordon. I'm okay with that for now. Are we going to try and attack Quenville, a guy who wanted three Stanley Cups? Or are we going to try and find the, the new guru, the, 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 the Sean McVay, if you will, of, of hockey? I don't want that. I want someone who's had success, who's been in the NHL, he's got a unique style to him, who's won Stanley Cups. I want Quenville. That's who I want. Oh, the Flyers are a dumpster fire. Carter Hart, Dave Haxtell, Chuck Fletcher. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let me know what you think down below.